That. We've got a historian to give us the real background on TIFF. Morgan Cameron Ross joining us this morning. Good morning, Morgan. How you doing? I'm doing well, thanks, man. You always got the great hat, which I appreciate in a big way. I, and we talk it, about fashion and the lights and the, the glitz and glamour of TIFF, but it started well before that. Yeah, right? And about <laughs> the arts itself. Yeah. Late 70s and 1976, and it, it started as a, as a as a very artsy artsy uh, endeavor, and you know it's grown into what we know it today as this pageantry and, and celebrity and stuff like that. But its origins were were much more humble than what they are today. And who all was involved, and why did they start it? Well, why did they start it? They started it for good reasons. They started it for art. They started it for film. And the, 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 the origins of the festival were kind of based on the fact that it was called the Festival of Festivals, but it was called that for a reason. They took the best films that had been on the, the festival circuit around the world and they played them in Toronto. So it was called the Festival of Festivals for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> and then as it evolved, we started seeing, you know, more of uh, brand new films starting to get released here. World premieres were happening. You know, how did we get to that point? Well, starting in the 80s, like 1982, there was, I always view it as 1982, there was the, uh, a focus on Martin Scorsese. So Robert De Niro, uh, Harvey Keitel, and them were were brought up to Toronto. So, in my opinion, that was kind of the beginning of the of the celebrity type aspect of of Toronto's film festival. Uh, also, in 1982, they had a Q and A with Scorsese with uh, Siskel and Ebert. You know, the 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 thumbs up, thumbs down guys. So, in the 80s, it started moving towards uh, becoming more of a a, a, a business type. Uh, endeavor. Uh, the 90s, it started having celebrities, and now it's this behemothly important uh, film festival. Yeah, and I, I mean, I'm giving you two thumbs up for all the old Toronto series stuff that you do all the time, oh, which is always you. so great for everybody to learn and from. The hat. And the but hat. as we go through these, yeah, and the hat, always a two thumbs up <laughs> for the hat, man. Come on. Uh, when when we go through the stages, like what were those stages and kind of the transformations that happened along the way? Like I said, man, uh, like early 2010s, for me it was okay. We're partying till 4 a.m. because that's what would happen, right? But as we got to that and to the point where we're at today, what were those stages for us? Well, first of all, 4 a.m. is an understatement, if I recall, uh, 2010. But, uh, you know, uh, the way that I look at it is, uh, you know, it, it segued from, from art until into a, an event. So, so during the 90s, it was still very artsy. And in the early 2000s, going into 2010, when, uh, when, they, when they got the TIFF light box, things started really... Well, at that point, they were, they were already very much a party atmosphere and celebrities. And, uh, you know, when the TIFF light box opened up, you know, Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise already had a, uh, a condo uh, above the, the light box. So, you know, the 90s were more arts focused. The 2000s were more celebrity focused. That's it, man. And last night I went to opening night and it was so great to check out. Like Julianne Moore, Ben Platt, the uh, cast of Dear Evan Hansen were there and Cameron and Joanna doing great things with TIFF and a big celebration on opening night last night. OldTorontoSeries.com, Morgan Cameron Ross joining us with the beautiful hat this morning. We appreciate your always. time always, man. Thank you so much. Always. Thank you. All right. We'll have, we'll have more about that, the TIFF experiences I had last night. We're live from our red carpet a little bit later on this morning.